Welcome to Illinois Corn TV News with this week's look at agriculture news. The Illinois Corn Marketing Board recently elected officers. Jim Reed, a farmer from DeLand, Illinois, was elected by his peers to serve as chairman of the Illinois Corn Marketing Board for the 2022-2023 term. Reed, a Piatt County farmer, has served on ICMB for eight years and previous to that was a part of the Illinois Corn Growers Association Board for 12 years. As chairman, Reed will represent ICMB as a whole and will continue his obligations to corn farmers in District 7, covering Woodford, McLean, DeWitt, Piatt, Macon, and Moultrie counties. Also elected to officer positions were John Rosensteel, Pearl City, as vice chairman, Jeff Skates, Shawnee Town, as treasurer, and Tim Thompson, Franklin, as secretary. Five districts held corn checkoff board elections earlier this summer. District 3, Henderson, Henry, Knox, Mercer, Rock Island, and Warren Counties is Rob Elliott. District 6, Champaign, Ford, Iroquois, and Vermilion is Steve Forez. District 9, Adams, Brown, Hancock, McDonough, Pike, and Schuyler, Terry G. Smith. District 12, Clark, Coles, Crawford, Cumberland, Douglas, Edgar, and Jasper, Daniel P. Meyer. And District 15, Alexander, Franklin, Gallatin, Hamilton, Hardin, Jackson, Johnson, Mossick, Perry, Pope, Pulaski, Randolph, Celine, Union, and Williamson is Jeff Skates. The Illinois Corn Marketing Board was established in 1982 to manage the voluntary checkoff investment that corn farmers in the state agreed to implement that year. The farmers that make up ICMB are elected by their peers to serve unpaid three-year terms. The ICMB farmer leaders are tasked with developing and maintaining markets for corn, which is Illinois' highest valued agricultural commodity. Find out more about ICMB at ilcorn.org and the family farmers who contribute to the checkoff at watchusgrow.org. Meanwhile this week, we are featuring Pat Dummelin. Pat is the ICMB Director for District 1, covering Boone, Cook, DeKalb, DuPage, Kane, Kendall, Lake, McHenry, and Will Counties. She has been a farmer her entire life. Pat has a compost operation that repurposes city yard waste and uses hog manure to become mulch and compost that can then be sold back to urban areas. In between farming and advocating on behalf of the ICMB, Pat spends time with her other primary passion, her family. I farm in Northern Illinois with our two sons, a son-in-law and four grandsons. What? And we raise uh, corn and beans, pork and grandchildren. Now imagine your daily life without electricity, cooking and heating, clothes irons on wood stoves, pumping water by hand, reading and working under kerosene lamps. Many people in rural America lived that life until well into the 20th century. Most only received electricity by choosing to work together with their neighbors and participate in electrical cooperatives or co-op. Those uh, stats are courtesy of the National Museum of American History. My dad always said the greatest thing that happened to agriculture was when they electrified rural America. And I'm thinking, what's, what's going to be the biggest thing for me? And you know, I still think it's electrifying rural America. If you don't have electricity, we don't have any of the wonderful things that we enjoy today. I served on both boards I have over the years. And today, the relationship between the, the two commodities is stronger than ever. And that is so good. The old thing about divided, you, or united, you stand, divided, you fall, is true today as it was 50 years ago. So today, the two organizations are doing very, very well, and they work together, and that is so important. I guess what I'd say to those young people as they raise their family, that the minute that little one is born, you start patting them on the back, and you say, farmer, farmer, farmer. <laughs> because it's a great way of life. You get to sleep in the same bed every night. Mm -hmm. You get to eat three meals a day with your family and you walk outside and you're at work. And I would like not to, to advertise that because then everybody and his neighbor is gonna to wanna to be a farmer. 
Pat continues to encourage her grandchildren to come back and work on the farm. So far, two grandsons have returned to work alongside and learn from their grandmother. This opportunity connects her two great loves, farming and family, and contributes to the creation of the next generation of farmers. The world needs more farmers like Pat. This has been your Illinois Corn TV News. We're inching closer to harvest. We'll see you next week.